The big pot? Yeah, the $8 one. Oh, went to someone else. <laughs> yeah, that sucked. <laughs> what did you tell Derek? About what? That I wasn't there. Oh, that your mom had medical event. Didn't go into a lot of detail. Okay, hopefully we get some people in here. Nobody is coming in. Second. I know, but I've had it up there for an hour. There we go. Start to get some people in here. We'll start to get some sales going. How's it going, Victor? Thank you for stopping by. Saw your comments there, and I'm glad that you've been checking out my channel. Hello everyone, as people start trickling in, we're going to be doing some card sales here starting at 25 cents a piece. I'm going to get a little graphic up here on the screen here in just a second. Because we'll go from 25 to 50 to a dollar. I got a few piles of cards here, some real nice stuff. Um, short prints, parallels, golds. I uh, even have some numbered cards. Uh, I accept PayPal as payment. That's the only thing I'm set up for right now. Do you have PayPal? No PayPal. What kind of e-transfers are you talking about? I've never really heard about that before. Through your bank app. Does it allow emailing it to to people or what is it like Zelly, Venmo, something like that? Okay, yeah, if we can email it, then we can take care of it. That shouldn't be a problem. There it is. Who else do we have in the chat today? I'd love to hear from you. And hopefully we can start getting some people in pretty quickly. Yeah, four people watching. How's everybody doing today? Hey, how's it going, Dave? Thanks for stopping by. Oops, sorry for the fingers. <laughs> get a few more people in here we're going to be going on some gypsy queen 
green and purple parallels. That's the majority of our 25 cent cards there. Get some different short prints and foils, stamped cards, a bunch of other stuff that we're going to do for 50 cents. Then we're going to get into the, some of the bigger names and the golds. This is an advanced stats card. Pink fireworks and chromes and we're going to start working through all of those. If that's what you guys are interested in. I do have an eBay store. It's called Colorado Card Breaks Sales. Colorado Card Breaks Sales. I'll throw up a link for you. Pretty much all the stuff that I, I open on camera. Well, not all of it. I keep some of it for my uh, personal collection, but a lot of the stuff that I open on camera, I will uh, go ahead and post up there. And then I do this every now and then, just kind of started streaming recently. Um, just, you know, it's hard to sell some of this stuff on on eBay for 25 cents. People don't really bite at that very, very much. Something's not two or three dollars, you typically don't get any, any action on it. So it limits you to what you can, what you can sell. But I know that there's people out there who want the cards. They just don't want to pay eBay prices. And I don't want to pay eBay fees. Have you checked out our channel before, Dave? Very nice. It doesn't show me all the subscriber names when I look at my list. Some people have it set to private. Hey, how's it going, Shlooby? Six mosaic blasters. I haven't seen basket. Yeah, I haven't seen basketball at any of the targets or WalMarts near me at all. Not anything new. Closest I came is I found some. Uh, what was it 2015, 2016 uh, NBA hoops uh, fat packs. That was about all that I've ever found. I see the the empty sellers, but yeah, I've looked for Bowman. I found I found a few blasters and a fat pack, um, and when I went back, everything else was gone. Yeah, the one place I found was completely wiped out. Um, I'm probably going to be on here for about an hour, hour hour and a half, right around there. So if you got some errands, I'll I'll still be here. Like I said, I got I got some pretty thick stacks to get through. Um, if people are interested, sounds great, Dave. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of. Copyright free music going in the background so I don't get a copyright violation again. A little bit of mood music. Exactly what I was thinking there. <laughs> so yeah, if we get you know six or seven people in here, um, Victor, I am looking to do group breaks. That is a little bit beyond my budget right now. It's one of the reasons I'm doing these live streams. Um, once we 
once we start getting a little bit of money in and we can get our hands on some some good prices for boxes i would definitely like to do that um but that's a that's a big money output right at the beginning um have I joined any? All the time. All the time. I I go to Wicked Discounts um, most nights. <laughs> Wednesday through Saturday. Um, in fact, I'll be there. He's doing one tonight. I'll be there. Um, it's Wicked Discounts on YouTube. I can throw up a link for that, too. He's a, a great guy. Does really good work. Um, it's more of an adult show, that's for sure. That happens later at night. That's nasty, but you know we're kind of free to be ourselves, which is nice. Uh, let's see. We find them in here. Oh, we have a few more people to show up. Yep, we. Wicked discount on YouTube. I'm going to throw the link right now. Like I said, great guy, great breaker. Uh, works his butt off to bring us really good stuff. Um, let's see, last night, kind of on the spur of the moment, uh, he started doing a raffle. Uh, gave away a Willie Mays card. Troy Aikman rookie graded as a 10. Um, a whole box of 91 92 hockey cards, a sealed box, and there were like eight or nine other cards in there. And it was only a buck to get into the raffle. Um, I don't, my, my prices are US dollars. I would assume his are too. He's in Pennsylvania. Um, I'm not sure what the conversion rate is there. Where are you at in Canada? I'll tell you what, while we wait, I've had this sitting over here for a little bit. I'm going to open some cards. Two hours southwest of Toronto. So, down by like winter. I'm originally from the Detroit area, um, so I'm a little tiny bit familiar with stuff that's that's right across the river there. I'm not sure exactly where Strathroy is. So let's get a few more people in here. Oh, very nice, very nice. We're at in that area. my camera oh. sorry about that guys I just tripped really bad just yanked my whole camera set down oh boy Can you guys still hear me out there? I don't know if I messed up my audio. Oh yeah, yeah, that is pretty close to, to Windsor. Okay, good, yeah. 
I was really jacked up my phone and everything. <laughs> Went for a little ride there. Thought I was going on my face. <laughs> okay. Got ourselves a pack of 2019 Donruss Elite Extra Edition. We'll pop this open while we hopefully get a few more people in here. So we can start doing the card sales. This says two autographs or memorabilia cards in here. Uh, yeah, Mike, you are welcome to spend time and money with me anytime you want. <laughs> We're just popping open a pack real quick before we get started. We got a whole bunch of 25, 50, and 50 cent, and uh, and uh, one dollar cards. I'm gonna pop open this pack. We got a Kyle McCann out of 9.99, a Dominican prospect out of 125. Oh, it's die cut. That's nice. Wesley Zapata. We have our first auto, Sam Hentges for Cleveland Hidden Gems. Then we have Videl Brujan for Tampa Bay. And Jaron Duran. That's Duran. That's a cool looking card there. What are you up to, Mike? You guys got really quiet. An artifact from another world threatens mankind. Your mission is to steal it. You think? You are looking for Bo Bichette. Okay. Might have some Bo Bichette later. I'll have to look through my pile. Um, they're not in the 25 cent cards for sure. Bobochet's a pretty good player to be chasing, for sure. So you just started collecting? Baseball, nine months on hockey, okay? Not too shabby. Hey, Jonah, how's it going? How are you doing today? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Four people in here. We'll pick up some more. I have to stop and kind of go over things real quick. What we are doing today is we are just going to go through cards. The first stack is 25 cents a piece. Please, no. please don't make me go. If you want it, all you do is put their name and sold. You 
make me too sad. Into the chat, and I will put down for you. Okay. Just realized I don't have a pad of paper. Yeah, that was Johan, not Jonah. <laughs> So it's not an auction. It is just, you like that card? 25 cents, it's yours. Um, we're gonna do the shipping a little bit different. When you get up to $4 in cards, then we'll do $4 in shipping. Um, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna charge you $4 in shipping for a dollar worth of 25 cent cards. Does that work for everybody? Good. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on each card, but I will catch up. I'll make sure to keep a close eye on chat. So just like I said, put their the player's last name and sold, and then I will put that to you. So we're going to start off with some Gypsy Queen parallels. If I can get this focused. The first bunch is all green 2020 Gypsy Queen parallels. Brian Reynolds, Pittsburgh Pirates. Jose Abreu, Chicago White Sox. 25 cents a piece, just say their last name and sold in the comments. And it is yours. First person to respond, it's theirs. Matt Boyd for the Detroit Tigers. Green Gypsy Queen Parallels. Mazzara. About that Reynolds, Mike? Socks. Ryan O'Hearn, Kansas City Royals. Kyle Seeger with the Mariners. Just say their last name and sold, and I will write you down. We'll get a total at the end. And talk about PayPal and everything else. Or hey, Palombo. Minnesota Twins. George Springer with the Astros. Okay, we got some 2019 Gypsy Queen green parallels now. Jan Gomes. Abasil Garcia. Sean Manea. Ronald Guzman. Tim Beckham. Orioles. Like I said, just their last name and sold. Right now we're at 25 cents on all of these. Whoever says them first gets them. Cole Calhoun. LA Angels. This is a cool looking card. They're throwing the Gatorade on him. Matt Davidson. Green Parallel. No, these are not numbered. The green ones are not numbered. Neither are the purple ones coming out. Steven Piscotti. That's why they're only in the 25 cent pile. Tanner Rourke. 
Okay, now some purple parallels. We got Eric Hosmer. Johan Camargo. Boy, I, get, I hope you guys like that 50 cent pile a lot more. <laughs> Christian Stewart. <laughs> Bobby Ray, Arizona Diamondbacks, my boy, Whit Merrifield, <laughs> Mike Zanino with the Tampa Bay Rays, Luis Castillo, Wade Davis with the Colorado Rockies. They're good luck cards, guys. Yuan Mankata. Chicago White Sox. Mitch Haniger. Mariners. Any other Nationals or Blue Jays? I don't know everybody who's in here. I believe there, there are. Ahmed Rosario for the Mets. Ahmed Rosario for the Mets. Okay, we got some short prints from Heritage coming up. These are great deals, guys, if you need to fill up your collection for sure. A deal on the entire lot of those greens and purples there. greens and purples that I own. That's a lot. I got a whole bunch in the 50 cent. That's a tough one there, Mike. Um, yeah, no, exactly. No one else bid a ton more than willing to. Um, I'm, I'm actually just counting to kind of get my bearings on that a little bit. Um, I got about 50 of them right here. Um, I'd probably actually say like 10 bucks for all of them. Because there is a bunch more in the, the 50 cent pile. I mean, Trey Turner, Max Scherzer, Richards. Santana, Andahar. There's a lot of other really good names in here. Would you do 10 bucks for all of these? Robbie Cano, Luis Arais, Sanchez, Robles, McNeil. Yeah. Okay, cool. 10 bucks for all of those. Very cool. Okay, let's move on to the short prints from Heritage and uh, 2019 to 2020. Yeah, that was very nice. Thanks, Mike. Okay, so we got a couple of Franklin Barretos. Like I said, these are all short prints. Anything over between 401 and 500, and anything above 700. So Franklin Barreto with the A's. Hector Neris with the Phillies. These are still 25 cents a piece, guys. Dominic Smith with the Mets. All short prints. Johnny Cueto. I actually have a couple of Johnny Cuetos. Neris, one or two? Just one? Okay. 
Okay, got a couple of Johnny Cueto short prints here. Hey, thanks, sports kids. Thanks for stopping by. You can hang out for a few minutes and spend a few pennies if you'd like. Tehran Guerrero. Wonder Woman said to tell you hi. Scooter Jeanette. That's a good one right there. I should probably be in the 50 cent pile. Chris Davis with the A's. Will Myers, Padres. Gio Gonzalez, Scooter, okay. Gonzalez with the Brewers. Brandon Crawford. And the last for 2019 is Alan Hansen. There's a Blue Jay for you, Victor. For anybody who's just coming in, just say the last name of the player and sold in the chat. Um, these are all 25 cents right now. Once we get through these, we'll be moving to the 50 cent pile. Um, and then we will work out PayPal and shipping and everything else at the end. So for 2020, we have 421. So these are all over 400. Stephen Piscotti. Dwight Smith Jr. actually got a couple of those. Max Freed with Braves. Eddie Rosario. David Peralta. Calhoun. And Herman Marquez. Herman Marquez. Okay. Well, that wraps up the 25 cent cards there. up a few more viewers here guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to 50 cent cards all you gotta do is call out the last name and sold in the chat okay we got a few more short prints here we got sunny gray with the reds Gray with Cincinnati there for 50 cents. Absolutely. Is that better there? We had Sunny Gray with the Reds on a short print. Matt Olson short print. I think what was happening is there's two sliders on here. Olson sold. Okay. short print. There's a good one from 2019. Buster Posey. We have a 2019 Tops Update Home Run Derby Alex Bregman foil. You guys can see that in there. Now we have a bunch of the 150 year stamps. Avisail Garcia. These are not numbered. Okay. Sorry about all the sound problems. Okay, Avisail Garcia. 
150 year stamp. We are on 50 cent cards to say last name and sold in the chat. We have a Chris Paddock rookie card stamped. Yeah, definitely working out the bugs. <laughs> Paddock sold. Okay. Come on, everybody else. Don't be afraid. Oh, there's more, Jonah. There's a bunch more. We got Freddie Freeman and Bryce Harper. Divisional foes stamped. That's a nice one, especially if you're a Harper fan. Or a Freddie Freeman fan. You want to give that to Johan? Okay, Jonah, that's yours if you still want it. Okay. That's a good card. Okay, what about the Harper and Freeman? Anybody like that one? <laughs> Thanks, sports kids. I appreciate that. I really do. Annabelle Sanchez, 150 years stamped. There is Zach Wheeler. Where did your message go? I don't know. I see it. Okay, got a Jesse Winker 150 year stamp. What's up, Silent? How you doing? So what we are doing here is we uh, are selling these cards for 50 cents a piece. We'll get to a dollar cards. And then we have, you know, some higher end stuff at the end. Um, if we can get about 10, 15 people in here, we might just do a giveaway at the end of all of this. I got, I got something in mind that could be a lot of fun. So if you see a card you like, just call out the name and then sold in the chat. And we will, uh, we'll settle up at the end. Hanser Alberto, 150 year stamp. Jose Leclerc. This one's really cool. I like this one myself. Chris Davis, cast, uh, cast, I can't say that word. Cactus League Legends, 150 year stamp there. That's a good looking card right there. And that one is, in fact, numbered. Out of 150. 150 for that. Okay, so 50 cents for that Chris Davis. Stamped and numbered. Okay, next we got some blue card and then some red cards. We have a Mitch Garver from 2020 Tops. Still at 50 cents here, guys. We have Jose Abreu from 2019. These are not numbered. Lourdes Gabriel Jr. You want that Abreu? It's 50 cents. Jarrell Cotton Blue. This is from 2018. Tops opening day. And then an Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall from the Reds.
I I have an idea that the stamped cards will be just because that date didn't happen. I don't think the regular up, opening day cards will be, um, but the ones like these that are stamped with a date that never happened, they'll hold maybe a little bit of more a little bit more value. Yeah. I'm making a new Gmail account. What do you think of that? Yeah. That works. <laughs> okay. Hey, Michael Heath. How's it going, man? <clears throat> so what we're doing here, we got a bunch of people coming in right now. We are doing 50 cent cards right now. Just call out the last name and sold in the chat. And I'll write it down for you. We can settle up at, at the end through PayPal, um, email, whatever works. So we have a Dansby Swanson red opening day. Dansby Swanson. We have Eduardo Rodriguez red. DJ LeMayhew. DJ LeMayhew red. Swanson sold. Okay. Awesome. Taking a little extra time to uh, write things down. Last time I did this, I, I wasn't specific enough and about caused myself a heart attack trying to sort out all the piles. Ozzy Albies red. Ozzy Albies from the Braves. That is uh, Akuna Matata's best bud there. Pretty good player, too. Mike Mustakis with the Brewers. Albies sold to Mike. That yeah, went to, to ripping for rookies. First, Mike, Michael Heath. I guess I shouldn't have said Mike since you're both Mikes. It was ripping for rookies first. We got a Moustakis red. Here's a good one. Oh, not yet. Lourdes Goriel Jr. red. We got a Clayton Kershaw red right there. I'll just call you Heath for now. I won't remember that. Dragon Gora. I, I, I wouldn't remember that. I'll just call you Heath for now. Clayton Kershaw Red, 50 cents. Christian Yellick. Christian Yellick Red, 50 cents. So just call out the last name and sold in the chat. And I will get you written down. We can settle up. At the very end, I'll give you a total and everything else. Nobody wants that Kershaw or Yellick? How about a Jack Flaherty? Jack Flaherty, great pitcher for the Cardinals. Nick Senzel. Nick Senzel, rookie. Or not rookie, red. Flaherty sold. Okay, I thought that one would get some people. Okay, anyone on that, that Senzel right there? We got a Michael Chavez. Michael Chavez red. And Yuan Mancata red. Yuan Mancata red. Those are all 50 cents a piece. 50 cents a piece. You have some pink, uh, pink hollows. We got a Max Scherzer, 2020 Donruss pink hollow. 
And Kata sold? Yeah, Flaherty is going to be a great pitcher. He really is. I agree completely. I think right now he is really undervalued. I mean, you can pick up his, his rookie card for under a buck. I think he's really undervalued for what he is. Scherzer sold to Jonah. Okay. Jose Abreu, Pink Hollow. Oh, I have these dumb pop-ups that keep coming up right in front of my chat window. And like 30 of them will pop up. It's really frustrating. Sorry, give me just one quick second here. Okay. Jose Abreu, pink. We have Donnie Walton, who looks like the oldest man to play baseball. But it's a pink rookie card. I'd be ecstatic if we could get to 20. Zach Collins, pink rookie card. Eduardo Escobar. Pink hollow. J.D. Martinez for the Red Sox. Yeah, it should be fun. Hopefully I can get into something. I've been bidding, but not very successful. Matt, Matt Carpenter. Yeah, color on these are amazing. You want some of them silent? Eric Hosmer. And Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman. Okay. We're going to get into a few of these. We only got a small handful of these. Um, they are the turkey red chromes. We got some turkey red chromes coming up. Oh, Chapman sold. Okay. Also to Jonah. Okay. Oh, not that bad one. That's not 50 cents. Matt Boyd, Turkey Red Chrome. We got two of those, if there's more than one person. Matt Boyd, Turkey Red Chromes. We have a Brian Anderson. There's another Matt Chapman for you, Jonah. Turkey Red Chrome. And a Gio Urshela. Anderson sold to Heath. Okay. There are both of those. One second. Let me make sure that we're through all the 50 cent cards there. And I believe that we are. Unless you guys are interested in some Bowman, some 2020 Bowman. You guys want to see some Bowman cards? 
I'll do some of those for 50 cents. Okay. Let me see what I got here. I don't have a lot. Yeah, yeah. Dominguez for 50 cents. Let's start off with, <laughs> with Dominguez Auto. Dominguez Chrome Auto. Green Chrome Auto for 50 cents. <laughs> okay, we got a Miggy. Miguel Cabrera. Dude, I love Select. It was awesome. I was super salty last night. In our Select break, we got freaking Miami and Texas, and he didn't pull a single Miami or Texas card. Then he did a second Select break, and he got a Jordan Yamamoto uh, jumbo patch for Miami. So, I was super salty about that. Glaber Torres, 50 cents. <clears throat> Just call out the name and sold and chat, and then we'll settle up at the end. We had Miggy and Glaber. Zach Gallen, rookie card. We got some Bowman rookie cards. I know that looks good to you, um, Rippin. Andres Munoz. See, I knew I'd get you with some rookies. It's in your name, dude. Andres Munoz with the Padres. Aaron Nola rookie card. Logan Allen. Oops. We got Justin Dunn. For the Mariners. Oh, not that one. That was a mistake to get in there. <laughs> Jordan Balazovic. Balazovic. First Bowman. First Bowman for 50 cents right there. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Victor. Appreciate you. How about a Max Scherzer, 2020 Bowman right there. Jose Altuve. Go ahead and call it last name and sold, just like Michael Heath did. And then I'll put it down and... Uh, We'll settle up on PayPal and shipping and everything at the end here. Grant Levine. Oh, Rippin, you want the Altuve? So Grant Levine, no you don't want to, okay. <laughs> I see what you're saying now. Eric Pardino, Aaron Savale. With the Indians rookie card there. Trent Grisham, Padres rookie. Jeff McNeil. I 
do you guys feel about this guy? Blake Snell. McNeil. Okay. Sports kids, you want the Snell? We got a uh, Jesus Sanchez with Miami Marlins. Oh, oh, I I see Blake Snell. I see it. Braylon Marquez. Prospect for the Cubs. This is one of the Bowman Prospects cards. You can tell by the extra little border around here. And those will be those are a insert set, uh, just like Drew Mendoza with the Nats. That's one of their prospects. Marquez sold. Going to Mike Heath. Okay, Drew Mendoza. We got the Jesus Lizard in the house. Jesus Lizardo, rookie card. That's a good looking card, too. We have Blue Jays rookie, Anthony K. Hey, thanks, Mike. I appreciate that. You want the Jesus Lizard? There we go. This guy's also going to be a really good pitcher. Like, let's not make a mistake about it. I make fun of his name, but... I mean, he is a really good pitcher. Him and Puck, they could definitely be uh, bringing the A's back. Abraham Toro, with your favorite team. Here we go, Abraham Toro rookie card. Speaking of the A's, there's Seth Brown, rookie for the A's. Another future Cy Young winner. Like definitely Shane Bieber. Shane Bieber, really good pitcher. Okay. Royce Lewis, prospect for the Twins. With a super high leg kick. Hey, how's it going, Celtic Pride? So how it works is if you like one of the cards that I see, like or that I show, like Royce Lewis, um, you take a look at the 50 cent right here. It'll go up to a dollar soon. Because um, I only got these Bowmans to work through for 50 cents. And you just call out the last name and then sold like Michael Heath just did in the chat. <laughs> I write it down um, at the end. We'll tally it all up. Um, we can settle through PayPal. And uh, then I you just email me with your uh, address and I ship it out to you. Um, first four dollars worth of cards is a dollar shipping. Uh, over four dollars of cards is four dollars shipping. So right, this is sold to Heath. Thank you very much. We got Leody Tavares with the Rangers. Yeah, he also subscribed. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate the support. Hanser Alberto. Mike Soroka. Talk about another good young pitcher. 13 and 4. 13 and 4. Holy crap. I didn't even know he, was, he did that well. 142 strikeouts, 174 innings pitched. That's great. It shows his ERA is 4.0. I don't think that's how we typically do ERA. 
His career is 4.6. I've never seen somebody round up ERA like that. Soroka sold to Heath. Okay. Robel Garcia, rookie for the Cubs. Sean Murphy, rookie for the A's. Brutusar Gratterall. I bet I, I came closer to saying that right than most people. Brutusar, Bruce, Bruce Dar. Bruce, we'll just call him Bruce Smith with the Twins, Ricky. Here's a nice one, Zach Collins. That's a good looking card too. That is a nice looking card. I like a lot of the photography with Bowman. Adrian Morjon, rookie for the Padres. Yeah, what are you opening up, Jonah? We got a prospect for the Cubs, Brennan, Brennan Davis. Oh, was he? Okay, that's good to know. I I knew I recognized the name. I just didn't know where from. So, a rookie or a prospect for the Rockies here in Colorado, Ryan Rollison. Dude, if you're a pitcher in the Rockies system, like how bad do you feel? See, now I'm wondering if that Soroka is not some kind of misprint there. Because they got it right on the back of here. They didn't round up. Too bad I can't focus right now. There we go. But on that Soroka, they cut off one of the numbers. Okay. Logan Gilbert. That is a prospect card for the Mariners. Matt Chapman for the A's. Like I said, just call out the name and sold in the chat. We'll get you written down. These are all just 50 cents right now. You say Kikuchi. You say Kikuchi. Second year card here in Bowman. Not such a great year last year. Luis Castillo. Chapman sold to Heath. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, Luis Castillo for the Reds. Not bad, 15 and 8. 15 and 8, pretty good. Mike Yastrzemski. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I'm seeing a little bit here. I'm, I'm seeing some stuff here. Willie Adamas for the Rays. 2.8 war last year, not too bad. Yastrzemski sold. <clears throat> Willie Adamas. Kettle Marte. Do you guys know him and Starling Marte? They're not even, related, not even distantly related. They both just have strange names. Strange first names and the same last name. I honestly thought they were brothers. Marte. Marte going to Ripon. Okay, back to a couple of prospects here. We got Keone Cavaco. Keone Cavaco for the Twins. I mean, there's only 25 games, but he 470 OPS. That's rough. Kebrian Hayes with the Pirates. Kebrian Hayes, the third baseman.
Frankie Lindor. Yeah, I have his rated rookie. And I was surprised it was on the the uh, Mariners. Max Muncy, bat flip. Right there. I like Mac, Max Muncy a lot. 4.8 war, really? I didn't know he had that good of a year last year. There's my buddy again, Whit Merrifield. Yelich. Ramon Laureano. Man, the A's are kind of stacked for the future. I mean, Laureano ain't no slouch. You got a couple of good rookies, and, you know, Seth Brown and uh, Sean, what's his name? Merrifield sold. Okay. Dude, if you if you PC Mitt Merrifield or <laughs> Whit Merrifield, man, I got a ton of him. He shows up in everything that I open. Yeah, these are 2020 Bowman. So there's Ramon Laureano again, like I was saying. A's, I think, are, are stacked, as long as they don't sell everybody off. Colton Welker. Bowman prospect card for the Rockies. Colton Welker. Nick Allen. Uh, and then we have another Andres Munoz. And Sheldon Noisy. For the A's. There's another good one. I mean, he hit 320, or 317. 27 homers and 102 RBIs in the minors last year. That's pretty sick. Pretty sick. Okay. Let me straighten this out a little bit real quick. We're going to move on to the $1 cards now. Get some one dollar cards coming up. Um, ba -bum -bum. Okay. Probably need to start off with a bang noisy sold. Okay, just saw that. Thank you, Mike. I have to try and spell his name. N-E-U-S-E. -E. Okay. I have an annoying, an annoying last name. That would be even more annoying. Nobody would spell it right. Nobody would say it right. Okay, let's let's continue the Bowman just for a minute. Then I got some I got some good stuff coming up. I think you guys are gonna like it a lot. And noisy, noisy. Okay, you ready? Mike Trout, Mike Trout, Mike Trout. One duck, Mike Trout. Let me get that graphic off there so nobody thinks that this is still fifty cents. One dollar. Make you a Anybody for the Trout? 2020 Bowman, Mike Trout. Trout sold to Mike Heath. I was going to say, somebody's got to buy that. If I'm going to put it in here, I can't even believe I just sold the Trout. I've never sold Mike Trout before, I don't think. I don't think I've ever traded a Mike Trout. But I pulled three in like three last year. So I was like, you know, that'd be pretty nice. How about a Nico Horner? Nico Horner rookie card. One buck. 
Nico Horner. Be shocked if that doesn't sell. <clears throat> Nico going to ripping for rookies. Hey, how's it going, Byron? You're just in time. We are getting into some $1 cards. We got some real nice stuff coming up. We have some pink fireworks, some short prints. Um, we have silver pack cards. We got some more, uh, let's see, what else do we got in there? Some chromes. We got some numbered cards at the end. We got some good stuff coming up. We got some good stuff going right now. So how about a Ronaldo Hernandez? He is one of the top 100 prospects. Tampa Bay Rays. Camo Parallel. Ronaldo Hernandez. Camo Parallel. Uh, an 89 bone in Sammy Sosa is worth something. You're, you can get two or three bucks raw. Um, you're talking 20 to $30 graded as a 10. I had a couple myself. I haven't graded them yet, but I've definitely looked into the prices. Ronaldo Hernandez, top 100 prospect, camo parallel. Sixto Sanchez. Good up and coming pitcher for the Marlins. Hey, how's it going, Santos? So for everybody who's just dropping in right now, we are doing $1 cards. It's not an auction. You just say their last name and sold in the chat. I write it down. We settle up at the end. Nice and simple. There's, there's no bidding. You just be the first one to say you want it. We just showed off some 2020 Bowman camo parallels. Ronaldo, uh, Ronaldo Hernandez. Sixto Sanchez. The next camo parallel is a Brady McConnell. And then the last camo parallel is Tyler Freeman for the Indians. These are all prospects right here. All big names real soon. Okay. Freeman sold to Mike Heath. Freeman sold. Okay, we have Acuna Jr. Tops Chrome Turkey Red. One buck. Acuna Jr. Tops Chrome Turkey Red. One buck. Cunha going to Heath. Okay. Oscar Mercado. Foil. 2019. Oscar Mercado rookie card foil. No, I have not sent them out. They're going they're going out Tuesday. I kinda get a, had some personal things come up and didn't get to the mailbox yesterday like I intended to. So I can put if you get anything here I can put these in. You want that uh Acuna to go to Ripon, okay? Is that good with you, Mike? Both mics? It's okay. You guys decide who wants it. Yeah, you can add anything in today with no extra shipping. 
I'll do it all for, for the four bucks shipping. Okay, one of you guys decide. Just say it's mine. Cunha Jr. Turkey Red Chrome. Okay. I'm going to give it to Ribbon for Rookies. If that is okay with you, Mike Post. Cool. Oscar Mercado. Rookie Foil. Oscar Mercado, Ricky Foyle. That's a good one. How about an Oscar Mercado, Ricky Short Print? I hadn't even seen this card until I pulled it. That is a Ricky Short Print right there. One buck each. Tommy Edmond rookie card. Which Mercado do you want? The foil or the short print? Short print? Okay. Okay, Tommy Edmond. Rookie for the Cardinals. We got Topps Chrome with Angelton Simmons. Maybe the best defender in the history of the entire game. I'm just going to go out right now and say that. Could be the best defender ever. Simmons sold. Okay. Do you agree with that, Heath? Where do you think he ranks? Okay, Jay Bruce Gold. We got a numbered gold here. Out of 2019, 1287 out of 2019. For Jay Bruce Gold. You think he's number two? Who's number one? for the J. Bruce Gold. How about a Michael Lorenzen? It's, yeah, it's just the first person to jump in and say that they want it. And you just say their last name and sold. Everybody here is pretty cool. Um, if there's two that are really close, we've been, we've been working it out just fine. Okay, so this is a Michael Lorenzen with the reds and it is an advanced stat card out of 150 for a buck. These are pretty rare to find. I think every player has an advanced stat card. So there's a, a Lorenzen. How about 3000 Ks for CC and it's stamped. It's got a 150 year stamp for CC. Yeah, you do got to be pretty quick. If you spend too much time thinking about it, you, you can lose it. You can lose it pretty quickly. Brendan McKay, rookie, now playing. Brendan McKay, now playing, rookie card. Pink firework. Advanced stats are very hard to find. Matt Chapman, Elite Series. Matt Chapman, Elite Series. Pink Fireworks. Kettle Marte, Dominators. Pink Fireworks.
Marte sold. Marte sold to Celtic Pride. Thank you for getting in there, Celtic Pride. I appreciate that. Like I said, we just settle out at the end. Martin, that's the Dominators. Okay. Okay, back to some more top chrome. We have Chris Davis. Most amazing thing about Chris Davis is he hit 243 four years in a row. Exactly 243, four years in a row. You'd be hard pressed to find another major leaguer who ever did that for any batting average. Probably even two or three times would be tough to find. Wilson Contreras, top chrome, turkey red. Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole with Houston. Tops Chrome, Turkey Red. I don't think the camera does these enough justice. They're beautiful. Gary Sanchez. Tops Chrome, Turkey Red. Gary Sanchez. The great Schwarbino. Kel Schwarber. And I had huge hopes for this guy. I remember watching him in the 2016 playoffs put a baseball on top of the uh, on top of the scoreboard out in right field at Wrigley. And the rest of the game, they just they kept pointing the camera at it, showing baseball just sitting up there, probably like 75 feet in the air. How about a Ken Griffey Jr.? I don't think anybody expected the kid to show up today. 1990s decades best chrome. Ken Griffey Jr. One buck. Okay. Anybody in on that Ken Griffey Jr.? We got Seng Wan O, oh, his rookie card, and it's a short print. Number 703. Seng Wan O. Oh. Rookie card for the Cardinals. Yeah, Dave, that was an absolutely monster shot. They had to call it like a 380-foot home run or something. But it was, like I said, 75, 80 feet up in the air and already almost 400 feet away. Um, hey, thanks for stopping by, Jonah. Uh, your total is 150. We can settle that up after another one if you want. I can hold these for a little bit or whatever. Shoot me an email and let me know. But yeah, if that thing doesn't hit that scoreboard, I mean, we're probably talking 450, maybe more. Um, there's some debate about that. Um, Dave Kingman hit that the third house on Waveland Avenue or whatever, and they're they're saying that that was that was almost 500 feet, somewhere between 500 and 515. Oh, okay, okay. I'm Right, right. These guys were in right field. Dave Kingman was in left field. I don't I don't know why Japanese players falter a little bit. Okay, we got a John Lester short print here. That's all Kingman did. <laughs> he wasn't he wasn't much of a hitter other than his power. But man, if he caught up to one, it went it went really far. John Lester short print. Nick Senzel, also a short print. So guys, just say the uh, say the name and sold in the chat, and it's yours. These are all one dollar cards. Yeah, Kingman was was. A three true outcome player, you know, strikeout, walk, home run. I don't even know if he walked that much. He might have been two <laughs> two true outcomes. Nick Senzel sold to Byron. Thanks for getting in, Byron. Mm. 
Okay, U Darvish short print. Four seventy five. Did you know he's half Iranian? He is part Japanese and part Iranian. Interesting little tidbit there. This is a Chris Davis cloth sticker card. You can't see it very well on camera. But it is a textured cloth sticker card. Of Mr. 243 right there. One dollar. Those are pretty hard to pull too. We have a gold Abraham Toro rookie card. Gold Abraham Toro out of 2020. Gold Frankie Lindor out of 2019. Good looking card. I like how the the kind of like digital stuff comes all the way up the side here. That looks really nice. Gold Freddie Freeman. Lindor sold to Mike to rip in for rookies. Hey, there's my Wonder Woman there. Freddie Freeman Gold out of 2019. Freddie Freeman, he might actually start having a chance at the playoffs with some of the young players that they're getting in. You know, I mean, specifically Acuna and Albies, but a lot of other guys like Mike Soroka, the Braves might be on the, the swing back up again. We got Freeman going to Mike Heath. You guys think the, the Braves are going to be on the rebound? We have a uh, Yandy Diaz. Yandy Diaz, gold. Oh, right, yeah. I, I think Austin Riley is still good. Just maybe a little bit of a sophomore slump. Maybe the adjustment to the majors there. Yandy Diaz out of 2019. Really good looking card. Oh, in a in a short season, I think so too. Youth is gonna youth is gonna prevail in a short season because a lot of these guys are gonna be able to they're gonna be able to get ready quick. Um, yeah, and they're just gonna pour everything into it. So Billy Hamilton Gold, Billy Hamilton, one of the probably top five fastest guys to ever play the game. He can't hit for a damn. Can't even take a ball. I mean, if this guy could walk just every now and then. 626 OPS. I mean, come on. If he could just get on base every now and then, he'd, he'd steal 120 bases. Okay, we got, we got some pretty exciting cards coming up. You guys ready for this? Like, I'm not even joking. We got some really good stuff here. So remember, put in their last name and sold into the chat if you haven't seen us do that yet or if you just came in uh, but we definitely got some good stuff going you guys are not going to like the first one but you'll see what the rest of them are going to be <laughs> Jose Altuve silver pack card Jose Altuve silver pack card these are 1985 style free buzzer included <laughs> like I said, you're not going to like it, but how about a Goldie? Is Goldie a little bit more your taste? Goldie Silver Pack card, 1985. Raphael Devers. Hey, don't forget the Red Sox. I mean, let's be fair at least. Their entire coaching staff was the Astros' old coaching staff. Okay, I got Devers going to Celtic Pride. Goldsmith to Mike Heath. Goldsmith to Mike Heath. 
That's a goldy silver right there. Okay, we got a Manny Machado silver pack. Manny Machado silver pack. Yeah, I mean, I could tell by your name that you might not like what I was saying about the Red Sox, but just if we're gonna be, if we're gonna hammer on the Astros, we got to realize that they hired the entire Astros staff. So Manny Machado, Silver Pack, Glaber Torres, Silver Pack. We got a little bit of Glaber Day going on here. That's a good looking card. I like to think that when I see cards like this, that they actually just hit a pop-up. They're not watching a home run. Glaber sold to Byron. Okay. 2020 Tops Heritage. Rome, Jorge Polanco. Jorge Polanco Chrome from Heritage. We have a refractor showing up. Pablo Sandoval, refractor. Out of 570, 570. Up there in the corner. Pablo Sandoval Refractor. How often are you going to see a refractor show up on a $1 card sale? They're still paying Pablo? Really? I didn't know that. Jose Leclerc. Chrome. Jose Leclerc Chrome. Okay. Not into the Heritage Chromes. No problem. We got a Scherzer foil, Scherzer blue foil from 2020 Tops opening day. That's a good looking card because he's got the uh, red, white, and blue uniform on. There we go. Scherzer going to Heath. Labor Blue. Hitting another pop up there. Labor Torres Blue. 2020 opening day. Labor going to Byron. Okay, the next three are going to be numbered cards from. Well, the first one is from 2019, Gypsy Queen. We have an Anthony Rendon Indigo out of 250. Indigo, blue, I don't know. They look the same color to me. Anthony Rendon Blue or Indigo out of 250. For the Nats. Shinsu Chu for the Rangers. Also out of 250 from 2020 Gypsy Queen. Shinsu Chu out of 250. And then Robbie Ray for the Diamondbacks out of 250. Robbie Ray for the Diamondbacks. Nope, none of those. Okay. Give me one quick second here. Looking for a pile that I had.
Okay, how about some 2019 National Baseball Card Day Bryce Harper? I got three of these if anybody wants them for a buck a piece. Bryce Harper 2019 National Baseball Card Day. You want one of those, Mike? Okay, and one from the Celtic. Anybody want the third one there? Okay. We're going to swerve back to Bowman for a second. those two Oops. we have 2020 for another Tatis Jr. one buck there we have 2018 Bowman holiday Tatis sold to Heath okay Two thousand and eighteen Bowman Holiday Nick Senzel. That's a good looking card too. Um not his first Bowman. But that's even before his rookie card, I think. Senzel going to Byron. Keenan Arizari, first Bowman card, 2019. So he looks like he's about 12, 13 years old in there. He might be in high school by now. Keenan Arizari, first Bowman. Luis Urias, 2019 Bowman rookie. Luis Urias. Hey, Braden, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. What we're doing right now is we're kind of getting towards the end of it. Um, but basically, you just say the, the player's name and sold in the chat. And then I uh, get it all written down and we settle up at the end. Luis Urias. Speaking of Austin Riley, there is an Austin Riley rookie card. This is a good deal. They do sell on... Uh, eBay, you can get a couple bucks a piece. Austin Riley rookie card, 2019 tops. I got two of those. Two Austin Riley rookie cards, if anybody's interested. These damn things are going to pop up for me again. Over and over again, all day. Okay. Both of those? Okay. Okay. We have Michael Chavez. Michael Chavez rookie card. And Michael Chavez rookie debut. A great looking card. I like that better than the actual rookie card, to be honest. I, I love it when they show their the full back of their jersey. When they're doing non baseball things. Nick Senzel rookie card. 
Nick Senzel with the Reds. And Nick Senzel's rookie debut card. Any takers on any of those? Which Senzel do you want? Both of them or one of them? Do you want one or both? There you go, both. Okay, to knock this out at the end, I'm going to throw out a whole bunch of patches and autos. And just some various stuff here. You're a little delayed. Okay, we're gonna do all of these patches and autos for two bucks. And that's it. We're just gonna we're gonna blow them out for two bucks all day long. We even have a couple of patch autos if you are so inclined. Many of them are numbered. We're gonna do two bucks on all of these. I'm actually going to start with a non-patch auto. I'm going to start out with a Black Border Vladdy Daddy. Black Border Vladdy Daddy. 1985 style. It is numbered out of 299 Man, pretty sure that this is all just a virus. Some kind of dumb stuff. Just can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. Anybody on the Vladdy Daddy? Black border out of two ninety nine. Two bucks. Okay, we have a dual patch auto of Jake Reed out of 99. Dual patch auto of Jake Reed out of 99. These are from 2012 USA Baseball. Jake Reed dual patch auto for two bucks. Anybody? Okay, I'll do both of these together for two bucks. Both Dominic Tacalini from 2012. We got a nice chunky little patch there on one and his auto on the other. Two bucks for both. Garrett Williams auto out of 349. Garrett Williams USA auto out of 349. This guy is just now making it to the majors. Garrett Williams sold to Heath for two bucks. Solomon Bates out of 299 Solomon Bates 
Again, he was on the 15 under team at this time. Um, same place that Kevin Biggio and a few other names were. Uh, Nico Horner was on 15 and under in 2012. This guy is still in the system. I forget what team. I, I want to say the Tampa Bay Rays, but it might be Sol or it might be wrong on that. Solomon Bates. All out of Felix. Jake Marisnik. This is the bat that they used to bang the trash can with. Unconfirmed. Unconfirmed, but it could actually be from the bat that they used to bang a trash can with. Could you imagine that? If they could actually confirm that? Jake Marisnik. Bat relic. Two bucks. I don't think anybody's doing anything on Astros today. Jackson Goddard, the D-Bags. Jackson Goddard Auto from, I don't even know what year, 2018. Elite Extra Edition, Jackson Goddard. Michael Sawmill. Okay, so this is out of 178. He's on the 16 and under development program in the uh, USA. And this is from 2020. So we'd be talking about a little bit of prospecting here. Sticking this in a box somewhere and holding on to it to see if he, he comes up as a catcher in anybody's system. Michael Sawmill. Two bucks. Aramis Ramirez. Winning materials from SPX in 2008, was it? 2007. Pretty cool looking. He got his jersey, jersey patch in one and then shiny stuff in the others. Aramis Ramirez. Jimon Choi. Tampa Bay Rays Auto. Jimon Choi. Two bucks. Daniel Robertson for the A's. This is from Bowman Platinum in 2014. Y'all not liking the autos and relics? Brendan Murphy with the Brewers. First Bowman Chrome. On card auto. Two bucks. Is that an on card? Yeah, that's an on card auto for two bucks. And let's see. We got Jared Parker with the A's. 2000, tops 2012. Jared Parker. How about a Kettle Marte patch for you, Michael Heath? Was it you that were getting the, the Martes? No, it's Celtic Pride. Celtic Pride. You like that Kettle Marte manufacturer patch? There you go. I thought you might. That's a nice looking card right there. Okay. <laughs> yep, a little late there. Okay, how about those? Okay, so I got just a few more things here. They're all going to stay at two bucks. And then, let me find it. I got something that I think is pretty cool. That you guys just might be excited about.
because I've gotten a lot of these. So at the end here, we'll have everybody sound off in the chat. We'll put you into a randomizer. And I'm going to give away a Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie card. Vlad Jr. base rookie card. Uh, the Gypsy Queen box. The little one here? That's just a blaster. I just got to turn sideways. You guys excited about that? You don't have one. Okay. So, yeah. We're going to be doing that here at the end. I got about nine more cards to go. I think these are some pretty sweet cards. How about Nolan Ryan Gold Standard 2012? Nolan Ryan Gold Standard. So each of these have this really cool gold leaf medallion in there and something that they're commemorating. This is 5,714 strikeouts. Going to Mike Heath at two bucks. Okay. Paul Molitor, 1,500 runs scored. These are all Hall of Famers, by the way. All Hall of Famers. Um, I don't know. Look for the little live button there. You, if you're even like five seconds behind, it can it can really throw you off. Paul Molitor, 1,500 run scored gold standard. How about Mr. October, 1,500 RBIs gold standard. Beautiful cards, Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson, gold standard. Jackson going to rip in. You weren't too slow last time, man. How about some Jeets? 1,500 runs, gold standard. Fifteen hundred runs. Uh, I'm gonna guess Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron's my guess on who holds the RBI record. Anybody for a Jeets Gold Standard? Derek Jeter. Okay, last one of the Gold Standards. Uh, Jeets is sold to Rippin. And the last one of the gold standards, the frickin' Iron Horse, 400 home runs, Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig, who wants the Lou Gehrig? I know this one's gonna sell. Because who wouldn't want a Lou Gehrig card? Four hundred home runs, gold foil, gold standard, Lou Gehrig. Going to ripping for rookies. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen one on Pee Wee Reese, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to go back because we sold all of them but this one. Nobody wants Paul Malter. Another Hall of Famer there, 1,500 run scored, gold foil. I'll do this one for a buck if, if anybody wants it. I'll do Paul Molitor for a buck. Nice. 
No love for Paul. Hey, what's up, Billy? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, boy. The Igniter. Honestly, I've never heard him called that. No love for Paul Molitor. Okay. okay. Y'all are going to love these next guys. I'm going to do them in the order of, of how much I think you guys are going to love them. Okay. So these are die cut inserts. They're all Hall of Famers, right? Yeah. Roy Holiday on the Phillies. Beautiful card. And they're kind of commem commemorating some event that they did. There you go. Holiday sold to Rippin. Damn, man. I needed a longer paper for you today. Yeah. Yeah. He's the one who drove his plane into a lake. Really sad. Cal Ripken Jr. cut above. Another die cut card. Cal Ripken Jr. Beautiful card. Ripken going to Heath. Okay, y'all ready for these last two? Griffey Jr. Cup. Still just two bucks. Beautiful card, though. Griffey Jr. Oh, Byron got on that quick. Oh, boy. Byron got on that real quick. Big Griffey fan. Okay, and last one, the Mick, Mickey Mantle. You can't get Mickey Mantle on a Topps card anymore. Mickey Mantle cut above. Okay, here's the deal with the Mantle. If you buy that, you have to take the Paul Molitor. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> okay, Mantle sold to Byron. It's a beautiful card. Okay. Hey, is that Paul Molitor Blue Jay? Yes, Paul Molitor is Blue Jay in that card. Not in many others. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for that. So everybody who wants to be included in the giveaway of the Vlad Guerrero Jr. Sound off in the comments with a thumbs up right now. I'll give it about a minute or so. Give me a thumbs up in the chat for this Vlad Jr. giveaway. Okay. I'm only going to include people who gives me a thumbs up or types thumbs up. That's fine with me too. <laughs> And if you have not ordered a card or bought a card from me today, you do not have to worry for shi uh, shipping this. Um, the shipping will be free no matter what. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's fine. You don't, no purchase necessary on this. This is just me giving it away, thanking you guys for watching. You don't have to purchase anything. Okay, so we got, we got Celtic Pride, 
Billy Lane, Schluby, Byron, Rippin. Byron's trying to get in there a second time. <laughs> Anybody else? We got 13 people watching. I am giving away this Vlad Guerrero. Get in the chat. Give me a thumbs up. I'll give you about another 30 seconds or so. Um, I don't currently have a Discord. Um, I'm trying to kind of set one up. Um, a Facebook page. It's under CO Card Breaks. You don't need it. You don't want it either. There you go, PJ. Thanks for jumping in here. We'll get you on there. Okay, in the meantime, while we wait just a little bit, I'm going to throw my email up on the, uh, the screen. Seal card breaks at gmail.com. Okay. This is where you're going to email me your address. Okay. If you bought anything. So Mike Heath, Jonah, Celtic Pride, Byron, and Mike Post. If you bought anything, email me your address. Even if you've already given me your address, it'll be easier than digging it out of an email that I got a week or two ago. Um, and right after the giveaway here, we're going to go ahead and settle up. I'll total everything up for the five of you, or the four of you that are still on here. Let you know what it is. You can also pay me at docardbreaks at gmail.com to pay for those. Um, I would appreciate a thumbs up on the video along with a thumbs up in the chat here for all of you. I really appreciate all of you guys stopping by. It's been a lot of fun today. Uh, I think we've, we've definitely gone through a lot of good cards here. So let me get that those names for you. Give me just one second to type them all in here. Yes. My coffee. Did you change oh. You changed your mind, Mike Keith? I see that thumbs up now. Now. You want in on this? Or are you still good there? Thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate that. I can't get this stupid chat window to stay open. <laughs> Just long enough so I can type in all of this. Celtic Pride was a good movie. Just saying. <laughs> Did you see Texas hockey cards? Hey, how's it going, Texas? Um, you can't do that, Celtic Pride. I prefer you don't, just because there's an extra charge when you do goods and services. I'd rather do friends and family. Um, but if that's the only way you're comfortable doing with it, I, I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, I am probably going to do another live stream. I'm going to say Tuesday and Thursday of this week is what I'm looking at. Tuesday and Thursday, probably around the same time. Well, let's see. I think I got everybody in there. There are six of you. Okay. Yeah, we're going to take a look. Don't look at the messiness under my, my screen here. Boy, I am not good at this zooming thing. 
Okay, so I got PJ Plot ripping for rookies. Byron Minton, Schluby Pax, Billy Lane, Celtic Pride. Um, that's about it. Oh, and Michael Heath. Oh, no, he said he didn't want in that. Okay, cool. So, I don't have a die. Let me get a random number here. Okay, random number six. That works for me. So, we're going to hit this six times. Y'all ready for this? It goes one. Two. Oh, I got a ton just not right here. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. And number six goes to Schluby Pax. Very nice. Schluby Pax gets the Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie card here. Very nice. Okay. Congratulations, Sleepy Packs. Thank you very much for stopping by. So go ahead and make sure you send me an email to cocardbreaks at gmail.com with your shipping address. And I'll get that out here uh, probably Tuesday. I'm going to be doing all my shipping since Monday is Memorial Day. <clears throat> um, plan on stopping by Tuesday and Thursday. We're going to do more of this. This has been so much fun. I'm definitely going to do more. Um, if you guys have any ideas about other things that you might like to see, basketball, football, hockey cards, um, magic cards, some different stuff like that. i got some wrestling cards if you guys are interested. Uh, shoot me an email and let me know. And I'll try and get some of that stuff together. Um, otherwise, if you... Bought some cards today. Stick around for just a few more minutes, and I'm going to go ahead and tally everything else, everything up. That'd be awesome, Shluby. Um, Celtic Pride, you can do either one. Either one works for me. If you include your address in the note, I'll find it. And I'll remember that. Yeah, let me know. Email me about that, Shlibby. Yep, I'm going to get your total right now, Michael Heath. I'm going to get all of yours right now. Okay, Michael Heath, your total is $17.50 plus the $4 shipping. I'm going to put that into chat so you guys can see that. And that's for... Michael Heath. Um, Byron, I got you at I got you eight dollars and then haven't done the shipping for the other one. So just send me eight dollars and I'll include that with uh, the other package there for the same for the same shipping. Awesome. You send it, I'll probably spend it by the end of the night, to be honest. <laughs> okay, Celtic Pride, I got you at $5. Um, because of that patch being big and chunky, 
Um, I'm going to have to do it in a larger envelope. So tell me what, what you want to do with that Celtic Pride. Um, it's $5. I can do the $1 shipping, um, but I can't promise that it's going to be in the best shape because of that. Um, I could send it in two separate, um, two separate envelopes and do $2 shipping. Does that sound good to you? Uh, the patch is already in the top loader, in fact. It was in a top loader from the minute I pulled it. Do you want to just do $2 shipping, one for the patch, and uh, one for the, the other three cards? Okay, cool. Yeah, that'll be better than doing 4 bucks. There you go, so that is seven dollars total. I'm sure you can figure that out, but just want to make sure that there's a chat record of that so that as I move on, you guys can still see that. Hey Jonah, <clears throat> yeah, we are just settling up. I just got you for a buck fifty, man. If you want to get in, I'm going to do more of these on Tuesday and Thursday, um, probably around the same time. If you want to get in on those, we can just keep totaling that up. Uh, just paint a buck fifty if that sounds good to you. Okay, and then let's see. I just got just got you ripping, right? Wait one second here. Okay, it looks like Mike, I got you at thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. It's not that bad, and that's with all of those GQs in there too. Is that right? Oh wait, no. It's I'm sorry. It's thirty-two. I forgot. I had you had two Rileys and two Sunzels. Yeah, 32 total plus the $4 shipping. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's been a lot of fun having all of you guys here. I think we got up to 14 or 15 people at one point. That was really awesome. All cards that I ever sell, all cards that I ever sell will be in a penny sleeve and a top loader. I get my top loaders really cheap, so that's part of the shipping there. So basically, the shipping breaks down to $0.65 cents for the actual postage, about 10 to $0.15 cents for the top loader, plus the penny sleeve. Then there's typically some bubble wrap or cardboard in there too, plus the envelope. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I take very good care of the cards, especially when I sell them to people. They all go in top loaders and penny sleeves for sure. And then I put painter's tape over the top. Like, they're they're coming to you in the best condition possible. Okay, guys. I am going to get out of here. Um, it is 3 o'clock my time. I got some stuff to take care of. You guys have a great Memorial Day. Um, come and see me on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, we'll kind of aim for the middle of the day. I'll throw it up on YouTube a little bit earlier. Um, so the, the tile will be up there for a while and, uh, yeah, definitely stop by. Yeah. I see the emails rolling in right now, guys. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. You guys have a good day.